Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a combined mini luxury haul video. So I have two things to share with you right here in this yellow box. I'm also going to be sharing what's on my new season accessory wish list. All the new season items are arriving at the moment and there are so many cute accessories. So I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I'm lusting after. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is in collaboration with My Teresa. I partnered with My Teresa many times before. They're one of my favorite online stores to shop from. Their selection is absolutely incredible. And every item I'm featuring here today is available from My Teresa. So I will leave links to everything down below in the description section. So I have the box right here. It's quite big. There are only two things inside and one of them is super small, um, but the other one is quite sizable. So My Teresa packaging is all yellow now. How beautiful is that? I have the invoice and everything. And then on the inside, it doesn't give too much of a hint as to what it is, but see the very subtle Valentino logo. So it is from Valentino. It is a handbag. So this is the first handbag I have ever tried from Valentino. I'm so excited. I saw this and instantly fell in love with it. How beautiful is that? It's actually the wrong way around. It's this absolutely stunning tote. You guys know how I feel about my tote bags. And this one is just so gorgeous. The leather is so soft, it's incredible. And you just have the little Valentino stamp right there, along with studs all the way across it. Is that not the coolest tote you've ever seen? The color is absolutely stunning. It's kind of like a, it's like a gray blue color. So I guess sometimes they call it Persian blue. My footstool used to be a very similar color to that, but I think it's so pretty. It seems like it would be a really good neutral as well because it is so pale. Let me take all the packaging off. So this is the bag without any packaging. How beautiful is that? And on the inside you have a button closure, which is actually quite strong, goodness. And then it's just a big wide open space. You have three pockets. So there is a zipper pocket on this side. And this one actually has a satin lining. How beautiful. And then if you flip it around, you can see there are two pockets on this side as well, which are open. And it's a pretty roomy bag, so I think you're gonna be able to fit a load in there. You have the beautiful red Valentino logo as a pop of color, how pretty is that? It's very lightweight, so I'm hoping it's going to be very comfortable. The straps seem to be very, very comfy indeed, but also quite sturdy. And I just think this is so, so pretty. It does come in a few different colors. Um, so it also comes in a nude and also a black, but I thought this color was the prettiest. It's showing up a little bit paler than it actually is on camera. So I'm gonna try and do a close up so you can see the exact color, but I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. My very first Valentino, as I said, um, so I'm not sure if this is going to kick off a whole obsession with Valentino bags. I obviously love their shoes so much. Um, so I'm very, very excited to try their handbags. And then I also have a pair of sunglasses as well. Quite well packaged actually, goodness. Ooh, okay. So I don't know anyone who's familiar with this brand of their sunglass cases may guess this, but it's from St. Laurent. So they go very, very minimal with their cases, but I actually love these cases because I feel like some designer sunglasses come in these massive, really hard cases, which is great, but I'm never gonna carry those in a handbag because they're too bulky. So I love the fact this is a bit more slimline. And then you open it up and it has the St. Laurent gold logo. And then I have these sunglasses. How cute are these? I've been lusting after these for so long. I love how fun they are and I dithered about them for a really long time because I do feel like they are super fun sunglasses rather than super classic. But I thought, you know what? I love them that much. I'm sure I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of them. They're just very simple black sunglasses in this beautiful heart shape. But I feel like they kind of have a cat eye look to them just because of the way they point upwards. And then they just have Saint Laurent on the side, but very, very subtly. So I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see that. So cute, I love these so much. They have these in a few colors. They have them in the white as well, but I thought the white might be a little bit too retro. So just to tone down the eccentricity, I decided to get them in black, but so super excited about these. I think they are so, so cute. 
Onto the wishlist part of the video now, and as I mentioned, there are so many cute new accessory arrivals, and at top of my list of things I want to buy for summer are these Saint Laurent sandals. I believe they released these for the first time last year, at least that's the first time that I saw them. I was actually trying to decide between those ones and the Hermes Oren sandals. I ended up going for the Hermes sandals, and I'm super happy with my decision. I love those to bits, but I really want to get a pair of these Saint Laurent ones as well. I love the overall style of just the slides. They are super easy, very comfortable to wear, and just seem to go with everything in summer. So I very much want to get a pair of these. They do them in a ton of colors. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get yet. The ones I like the most are the blush pink ones, the tan ones, and also the white ones as well. I like the blush pink ones the most, but I don't think I'm gonna go for those just because I do have my Hermes sandals in the brighter pink color. So I think I'm probably gonna go for either the tan ones or the white ones, but I think these are gorgeous. If you own these and can speak to comfort, please let me know down below in the comment section because that's the only thing I'm not sure about. But in terms of look, I think they're absolutely gorgeous and I'm just trying to decide between the tan and the white currently. Next up are two bags which are definitely along the same kind of trend theme. They're both kind of wicker bags or basket bags. I love this trend so much. I think it's so fun and it's also quite classic as well though because I feel like wicker and basket bags are nothing new. They've been around for ages so even though I don't always think that these represent the best value for money, I do think it is something that you'll be able to wear for many years. And Prada in particular, which is one of the bags I'm looking at, has been doing these for a couple of years now, which does comfort me the fact that it's still going to be in style for a little while longer yet. And I just think these are absolutely beautiful. So the first Prada one that I'm looking at is this beautiful white one. It's so cute. It's that classic basket bag shape, but it's shrunk down. So it's going to be suitable for far more than just the beach. And I think this is so, so cute. It would be so good with just a summer dress and some sandals, really easy breezy, but obviously very on trend as well. They also do a black trimmed version as well. They do a few different versions actually. They do a pink version, two black trimmed versions, a few different styles, but these two are my favorites. Uh, the black trimmed version comes in the classic kind of basket bag shape, but also in a boxy shape as well, which I also really love. I haven't decided which, I don't know whether I'm gonna get this, but it's definitely very high on my wish list. I'm gonna wait to see if they do release any more variations though, because I don't wanna take the plunge on one and they release something I like better, but this is definitely something I'm keeping my eye on. I've mentioned it before and I have kind of talked Talked myself out of it in the past but I feel like this year is a year that I'm absolutely going to break um, but yeah I love this bag so beautiful so girly and fun but at the same time I do think it is quite classic and the other bag that I am loving, which is a bit more reasonable in price, is one from Ulla Johnson. I absolutely love Ulla Johnson so much. If I was a billionaire, I would dress exclusively in Ulla Johnson, I think, because her designs are just so beautiful and feminine and flowy, and I just absolutely love them. But unfortunately, I can't afford to dress exclusively in Ulla Johnson, but she does also do bags, and they are so cute. I own another bag from her already. It's this beautiful little pink kind of, I guess it's like a basket bag. It's like a small condensed one, um, but it's adorable. And she's released some new wicker bags for summer and they are so cute. My favorite one is this one, which is a kind of, it's just a classic straw wicker bag. So you have the long strap or handle, which you just hang on your shoulder and then it opens up with a clasp and it kind of opens up on the side. Very cute. These aren't the most practical of bags. So this definitely isn't going to be replacing a work tote bag or anything like that, but very cute for summer holidays or just days out. You can only put the essentials in, but it really just complements that perfect kind of French chic look, you know, just a simple sundress and this bag slung over your shoulder. I just love the whole thing. So huge fan of this, definitely more affordable than the Prada ones, but I do think it achieves the same kind of look. Next up are a pair of shoes, and these are the Balenciaga heels that are all over Instagram at the moment. I definitely never would have looked at them had I not seen them on other people and loved them because on the product image, I just feel like they can look a little bit funny and out of proportion, but when I see them on other people, I think they look amazing. They come in a few different styles and colors. So I've seen them in a mule form, I've seen them in a sling bag and a flat style, in 
the heels, they seem to be in every kind of variation. I would just be looking at the plain kind of pump version. Maybe what well, I'm thinking more like with the mid heel um, and then probably in black, although the black ones have sold out really quickly in terms of sizes. So I'm hoping that they're going to restock. Uh, but I think these are so cool looking. I love them with just a pair of jeans and a blazer. I think they look amazing, super sharp and super smart and just very, very, edgy and different while still looking very classic if that makes any sense at all. So never really a big Balenciaga girl and a lot of their styles are a little bit too out there for me, but I absolutely adore these. I think they're fantastic. Next up is another bag from Valentino. I've obviously been going on a little bit of a Valentino kick recently and I've been looking at their bags a lot, but I stumbled across this one and think it's so cute. It's very dinky and small, but even though it's very small in size, I still feel like it packs a punch in terms of a statement bag because of the studs everywhere. It is very tiny though, and so I don't know whether it would fit a phone, and if it doesn't, then that is a deal breaker for me because that's the one rule I have when it comes to mini bags, that they have to at least to fit a phone in because I'm like otherwise what's the point um, but if it does fit a phone then I can make do with the rest of the space but I think this is so cute it'd be so good with just a summer dress or a pair of jeans easy stress up or down I think I love the range of colors it comes in as well I'd probably look at something very neutral as always like the Poudre I have my heels in the Poudre color and it's such a beautiful nude neutral color and yeah I just absolutely love this bag so very intrigued to try it on if it does fit as much as I hope it does and um, then I think it could be a great summer bag Next up are two pairs of shoes and these are both from Saint Laurent. I have never looked at Saint Laurent for their shoes before and I don't know why because I love their bags and accessories so much but I just never looked at their shoes. They do some really, really cute styles though. In particular, two pairs caught my eye. So the first pair are this beautiful pair of sandals. So classic looking but at the same time very on trend. They have this block heel, they are quite high but I'm hoping with the block heel that they are going to be more on the comfortable side and it's just this strappy style so they have straps along kind of toe area or the first part of the foot and they also have ankle straps as well a beautiful deep shade of brown as well and I just feel like these are the kind of things that will go with everything and you'll be able to wear for years super beautiful and the second pair that I've been eyeing up are this pair of espadrilles. And I have never understood this trend before. I know Chanel made them very popular, but I was never interested in them. And then I saw these ones and I think they look so cute. I particularly love, of course, the nude pink pair. They do have a YSL logo, but it's very subtle looking. And I don't know if it's just the styling on the website because they made them look super cute with just some denim and it just, the whole look really worked, I thought. so. Big fan of these, I thought they were really, really cute. So definitely two pairs I'm keeping my eye on. And now for my very last wishlist pick, and it is another bag, and it's from Saint Laurent again. I am still carrying on my Saint Laurent kick. I am just loving everything that they are coming out with. A few of their new bags have caught my eye, but my favorite by far is their Vicky bag. I think this is so cute. I was also looking at their Jamie bag, which I think I mentioned in my last wishlist video, but I tried that on and a few of you did say that the leather is ridiculously soft as in not in a good way and I totally agree I couldn't believe I mean it felt very buttery which is very nice but it felt so delicate that I would just imagine it would scratch so easily so that immediately turned me off it so I don't know what the leather on the Vicky style is like if you own this bag or I've tried it on please let me know down below but if the leather is more durable then I am definitely interested in this bag I think it's so beautiful it comes in a few different sizes styles and colors I like the smaller one um, which is kind of it reminds me of the Chanel mini but on a slightly bigger scale and it comes in both a smaller width and a bigger width I think I like the bigger width one the most and I'm looking at the tan color which is more of an unusual color choice for me but I think it's absolutely beautiful it's this really light shade of tan and with gold hardware I think it's just stunning so very intrigued about this. If you do know about the leather, please let me know below. Um, but yeah, I am super, super interested in it. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me, then leave them down below. But as I mentioned, I will leave links to everything I talked about in the description section. If you have anything on your wish list, please let me know as well. I would love to hear about it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.